It's time for me to dive into another episode of The Legend of Vox Machina. The previous episode, we saw Scanbo doing his best to create the best damn distraction ever. The power of the finger is a mighty one indeed. Meanwhile, the rest of Vox Machina and the Rebellion managed to infiltrate the manor that was containing Percival's sister, as well as Percival's old professor, who is obviously in cahoots with the Briarwood. But before Percy could fully rescue his sister, her throat was slit. Shocking me! Quite deeply. So what happens now? Well, safe bet is no mercy or Percy is going to come to play. And thus bastards will rule the day. Also, I'm loving so many of you guys' comments out there. You are a godsend in this situation. Constantly filling me in with little tidbits and answers to some of my more lighter questions while not going deep into the plot or anything like that. You guys are absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for everything. But Enough of that, let's jump into the episode. Okay, back with Pike. Yeah, because she's trying to reconnect with the Everlight. Oh, what was that? Yeah, she's having some kind of block that's more her than anything else. Did I say Everglow? Everlight. Is it like a situation where, you know, you think you only have power with the Everlight, but the power actually is within you the entire time? Oh, conduit for more energy than anyone can channel. Hmm. Oh, Pike, come on. Oh, they're trying to help you. But I know she's in a desperate situation. Oh, gotta skip that intro. I wanna watch it, but I don't wanna be copyright. Oh, right. Yeah, this. Oh, she better not die. I'm gonna be so upset if she actually just up and dies. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I am surprised Percy is not vehemently murdering that guy. Okay, Keyleth. Moment of truth. You can do this. Man, this dude just casually drinking off to the side. Yeah. Oh, oh. Whoa. What the fuck? Whoa. Who is this guy? No wonder he was being so casual. Oh my god. This guy is 100% a asshole. But he is a quick asshole. Jesus. Kick his ass, Percy. Uh-oh. 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 A silver tongue. Holy crap. Okay. Of course they Brian was had would have had to give him power for everything that he's done. Shit. I was legit thinking this dude was going to be an easy kill. What is his name? Anderson or something? Yeah, Anders. <laughs> right. <laughs> like, Vax is just like, shut the fuck up and fight. Oh, oh god. Oh, this guy doesn't have a helmet. He's an interesting guy. Oh, he especially needs to die. Split his arrow in twain. Nice. Fighting a boss. Need help. Where did Anders go? Oh, he he's off to the side. Doing what he does best, telling people what to do. Okay, this could be soul crippling for Keyleth if she fails. Also Percy. Definitely Percy. Like, Keyleth needs this win. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> Holy shit. <coughs> Holy shit. Oh. Holy shit. First of all... <laughs> Well played by the animators, but also, fuck them. <laughs> you, you had me go there for a second. I'm just like, this would be the show to just kill her off like that in such a messed up way. Well, I'm just like, no. Like, Keyleth has had this big thing going on in the background with the sun tree and trying to do things right and this, that, and the other. I'm like, no, she can't fail at this. That would be so depressing. Ugh. <sighs> Like, with a show like this, I'm just like, they keep going back and forth between being the absolute worst and being amazingly sweet. And it's just like, it's hard to know which roll of the dice is gonna hit. Oh, oh, oh god, I need a moment. <laughs> that, that got me. Oh, that got me so hard. <laughs> oh, man. I'm like... <laughs> I'm relieved, angry, on the verge of tears, like, I am running the whole gambit of emotions in this moment. <sighs> okay, okay, moving on. Yeah, wait here, don't die. Well, I mean, fainting is better than dead. Yeah! Tiger time! Eh, it's not having much effect. These are some tough armors. <laughs> yes, all the letters, Grog. Man, these things are tough. Man, Anders really just needs to die. Uh-oh. Shoot in between the joints? Oh, shoot in between the joints. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Oh, what? What? How could, how could she always do that? That is awesome. <laughs> Uh-oh. He's not shitting his pants. 
Uh, 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 Vax is gonna do something. Yeah! Yeah! He does need killing, Grog. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. No! No! You're kidding me! Holy shit. Oh shit. Oh shit! Okay, Pike with the Everlight again. What? Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck was that? Okay, are we sure she's not cursed? Because it's really starting to feel like she's cursed. Or is she tapping into dark magic? Oh, jeez. What is going on? Is it like a, you gotta find the light within the darkness? Kind of, oh, that is the fucking sun. What is this? Why did it forsake her in the first place? Yeah, I don't think this is the Everlight. This is something else. Is something weird that's going on here. So, like it's possession ability? So it's a charm spell. Ooh, oh, can't you just go after Anders? Then again, Grog would still be an issue, but still. Oh god, yeah, it really does not help that he is their heaviest hitter. Oh, damn, Percy? Well, what you gonna do, Vax? Uh, yeah, that didn't really do much. Oh god, <laughs> it's because you stole his kill. <laughs> He's after you because you stole his kill. Exactly. Thank you, Vex. Oh no. What? All of them? No way. No fucking way. Shit. That is way too much power. <laughs> he, yeah, Percy. Work towards his ego. Oh. Okay. So yeah, there is some power possessing him. What? Holy shit, that was a hell of a shot! Yes, choke on your own blood, you bastard! Okay, is it gonna be a significant plot point where his tongue just fucking up and escaped? Okay, yeah, what? D step on it! For the love of God, step on it! Thank you, Grog. Yeah, no mercy Percy come to play. <laughs> Where did that mask come from? I mean, he's gonna die anyway, but... Yeah, that smoke is... Ooh! Damn! That was badass. Another one bites the dust. Yeah, something's up with his sister. That's not fair. Ah, that's what it is. I felt like something was up with her. Like, she was either playing one side or the other, but feeding information to the resistance? That makes a lot of sense. Oof, I don't know. I don't think it's ever gonna be a family bonding time between the two of them. What is that? Like a calendar or something? Yeah, Star Trek. Okay. Solstice. Okay. What's up, Keela? What you doing? Whoa! Summoning a storm? Yo! Man, she is stupid powerful! Ooh. Man, Keela, you getting all the- <laughs> I'm sorry, that is so fucking sick. That is so amazing. God, how is she that powerful? How much potential does Keyleth have? That is a hell of a signal. Oh, uh, you're gonna die. Oh, oh, poor guy. Man, so much throat slitting lately. Protecting him? Oh, because the clouds have been cleared out. That means that, like, Silas can be affected by sunlight. Oh. Uh oh. Oh god. It's D&D thriller time. Or terror time. Terror time. It's terror time again. Oh jeez. What truth? Pike's lying to herself? Oh. What is this? How powerful is Pike? Oh, because she doesn't accept the fact that she's assumed that her loss of connection was because of her vices. Hmm. Huh. Man, this is a beautiful shot. Fucking hell. I mean, it feels obvious what she's gonna go with, but damn. Uh, scan? <laughs> you know what? He deserves this victory dance. I know, right? Uh, oh god. Yep, just straight up zombies. She's unleashed zombies. Scanlin, dude, get back to the resistance. Y yeah, no. You don't want another of that. Oh, nice timing, Scanlan. <laughs> There's a whore. <laughs> so let's see. Oh, a few few minutes left. We're about to end the episode. That is a fucking horde. Damn. I, I love how proud they were of that effect of like the clouds just parting and forming that way. It's just like yeah. Oh man, that is such an amazing visual. Just some fantastic visuals in this episode, like, yes! Oh, our team was killing it. Just, god damn. So, so Pike was in contact with the Everlight then. It's just that the Everlight was contacting her in a way that she wasn't familiar with, I guess? It's a fascinating choice to go with. Like, her needing to just understand it's just like, hey, you could be a devout follower of the... Of your faith or you can go with your friends but still be someone who embraces your faith like it, it doesn't seem like it's forcing her to choose so that she you know w whether or not she has power or not it feels more like it's just like hey you just 
you need to be able to accept what you've chosen. It's obvious she's going to choose her friends, but I don't think that'll weaken her connection with the Everlight. But yeah, that was, that was some tasty ass visuals. Like, damn. And, like, like Pike and Keyleth just fucking killing it this episode. Like, my god, magic users on full display. Even Delilah with her, like, undead horde resurrection technique is just like zombies everywhere. Scooby-Doo on Zombie Island. Like, yeah, magic users were, like, on full display here, but I gotta give it to No Mercy Percy. It's, it's so fun to say. I'm so glad somebody mentioned that in the comments. I guess that's a thing in the actual campaign, but, like, yeah, no Mercy Percy comes out to play. Just like <laughs> a trick shot where he shot off Anders' freaking jaw. Oh man. It doesn't feel like nobody had like a clear shot at Anders during that entire time though. That's the only thing that got me. It's just like it kind of felt like you could have just hit him if you just shot in his general direction. But I don't know. Maybe it was just because of the fact that she had the armors and then Grog just just deal with them alone was just took up so much time and attention that you didn't even have time to train a shot on Anders or whatever you needed to do so I guess that makes a bit of sense if you look at it like that I still feel like there's something up with Percy's sister Cassandra like maybe it's just that because it's obvious she is it happy about the fact that he never came back? But it's like, I mean, he's back now. It took him a long time, and who knows what horrors Cassandra had witnessed within that time frame, but I don't know, something seems up with her. But I, I can't imagine her just straight up turning out to be evil or just a dick of a person after all that effort to friggin' save her life, which... Like, again, I'm glad she didn't die. Like, I, I would have been so upset if she died. Especially when Keyleth was trying to heal her and all that. Like, no. Absolutely not. I'm happy that Keyleth gets to bask in that, you know, achievement. Because, yeah, she's been down on herself a lot lately. And, like, you need that win. She really needs that win. Yeah, no, no this was a fantastic and fun and emotional and amazing episode like my like animation team kills it every time the art and background team like my god sound design's always on point of course the voice acting's always on point like i i'm fully immersed in this world and these characters and just everything like my god but hey tell me your thoughts in the comment section below anything that i might have missed in this episode anything that might have answered any of my questions going forward that i might have glossed over you know, let me know in the comment section below, but I want to thank you so much for joining me. I hope if you like this episode, you'll subscribe for more, or don't. I ain't your daddy, but I still love you like one. Until next time, I've been Deuce Disden, and I hope to see you in the next episode. Until then, bye bye <laughs>